Welcome to another video by DJSBRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website, they're awesome. In Pro Project Cherokee today, we're going to install the Mamba Max motor inside of here. And I'm not going to install this pre-control today because I'm just not sure how I'm going to route my wires. I might make something to go over the transfer transfer case. I'm just not sure yet because they do make a spot right here to run your wires, but I'll have more than one that's running there. Excuse me. Let's open this box here. You do have two boxes. One's your speed control, one's your motor. We'll put the motor aside, the motor, the speed control aside. Let's open this box right here. Piece of foam, sensor wire, and we have our motor. And nothing else in this box. Let's go ahead, grab this guy. There's only one place you can go. There's a couple of ways you can position the physical motor. Uh, some will prefer straight, some will prefer on the side. You can't go on that side too much. I'm gonna to try to keep it straight as possible, but now depending where the physical holes line up with the motor itself, that could be a little bit different. And the other thing too I'll need to do after is the physical pinion to put it on. I got some screws here, two stainless. And what I'm gonna do here, removing the motor, I'm gonna go on the bottom one and I'm putting that one in. Now you have to make sure too that your screws are not too long the what comes out of here. And I'll be honest with you, this one looks a little bit too long to go there. I'm just gonna push it out and throw it on the, on the ground. Why not? I was gonna grab my box of screws here. I do have ones a little bit shorter. That I'm going to use to put here. There we go. Now, I'm going to try to position it where you can physically see it. And I'm not going to tighten it all the way in. Just to snug it. That way I can still Move the motor side to side. And I'm gonna grab my other one here. And see. And find. The hole. Sometimes using a flashlight will help you greatly. That's right on top. The other thing you could do if you wanted to, you could physically remove uh, the transmission out of it and install your motor and then turn around and reinstall everything in, in the vehicle itself. But for the sake of the video, I did, decided to do it this way here. Now our motors are, the motor is in. Now some people could put their speed controls right here. What I want to do is bring everything on the other side here. Try to keep everything neat and nicely. But what I'm gonna end up doing here, I'm gonna put the speed control here, but I'm gonna shorten these wires here. 
there's the they're way too long uh let's take it out and show you exactly what i'm talking about here and you're gonna understand what i mean now i'm just gonna plug these guys pretty much anywhere speaker shells right there we have our main power leads that will go over here these wire that can stay on that side this is meant to go here then route it to your box and i don't want to leave this here uh when i'm going to remove the body off it i want to be able to look aesthetically nice and pleasing uh and my ocd will kick in if i leave everything that way <laughs> uh yeah what i'll be ending up doing is putting the speed control here and basically shortening shortening these guys to something like this and follow the other one and the other one this is what i'll end up doing um i'm not going to do it on camera it's not that hard to do basically you just need to unsolder these guys here and doing the correct length that I want and resolder them. I do have videos how to do that. If you want to go check that out, that would be awesome. Uh, but in this case here, I won't show that. And uh, we're getting closer for this machine to start running on its own power. And I do have the sensor wire that I need to find a shorter one too. Uh, again, this guy's super long. I do have a shorter one here. And... Uh, yeah, a lot of thinking to do. This is one thing I do suggest. Uh, do not, you could if you want to just, you basically throw everything to the crawl, uh, to the machine and you go have fun. But sometimes taking your time, placing all your wires the correct way once will save you sometimes in your future. Like if even using the channels of the frame itself uh, the extra bolt holes there's there's left to tie down your wires if you're gonna add lights things like that uh, it's yeah totally worth it in my book but now I digress uh, if you guys have any comments or questions post them below I'll be gladly to answer you guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up in the corner and if you want to be notified next time I upload a video hit that bell notification and you'll be notified next time I upload a video Thank you for watching and don't forget, check out greathobbies.com.